It has been five and a half years since I completed Ouch on Chimps mode. Just a fun lore fact in case you didn't know. I was actually the third ever completion of Ouch. A nice achievement. Obviously not as uh, hype as uh, the uh, Muddy Polaris run, but still a fun time. So now I think I want to finish the job. Five plus years later, Black Bordering Ouch, aka uh, beating all rounds of chimps in one try without restarting. As far as I'm aware, the early game for Ouch is uh, much, much harder than the mid to late game. And in fact, if you don't want to start with a sub, there's still very limited options to start with um, on this map. The specific dart placement is here, here, and here to be round six. So if you have the right placement, we should get a snipe here. And here, beautiful. And should be able to be the rest for this round. Nice. Right? Yep. Now, I will say I did take a peek at guides only for the early game, though, just to get me through. Otherwise, any part after the early game is going to be a completely freestyle. Although I do have a strategy in mind. That strategy is Wall Geraldo. To beat round 7, I have to do a bit of targeting to snipe the balloons. It seems like my placement's a bit off, sadly. But yeah, surprisingly, you have to do range for just this round on the Dart Monkey. How often do you see that? A 0-0-1 Dart. Uh, should be able to beat this, leaving it on first the rest of the way. There we go. I think we got the right spot this time. Now, Dart Monkey number 4. Okay, and after round 8, we have to go for a 5th Dart Monkey. Somewhere about here, and I think this covers... Uh, Pretty much all the lanes decently. Okay, so uh, I think for round 8 here, or round 10, sorry. I need to drop a sniper mid-round. And then it can clean up the blues here. Cool, now we leave it on strong. Beat this round, and Geraldo is uh, ours. Whoops, I started the round by accident. Let's quickly get him. Here should be good, and if anything leaks, just change the sniper to strong. Or use spikes. Although I don't want to drop it this round. Ideally. Thing is... Uh, okay, I am going to drop a spike. Actually, I, I, I'm i not sure if the sniper got that, but whatever. I need the spike here for 15 anyways. But I definitely use a shooter this round. I'll put it here. I'll get a second one later. Okay, let's see if we're good here. I can afford a second spike. Wait, crap. I need to snipe that thingy. I think I trolled a bit. Yeah, I messed up. <laughs> so this time around, no need for a spike. I think this run... It's already looking better. So, I'm gonna spike this part immediately. And we'll see what lanes need to spike for 15. Alright, let's watch carefully. I can only afford one lane to spike. This lane. And we are good. We're good. And I'll see if I'm gonna try to afford a... Shooter up there. Top right. Mid round. Yes. Right bang over here. So now for the middle of 18, we do a ninja on the right side, because we have a lot of defense already here, over here already. Now we need a 302 to build on the right side. This and the Sea King will help immensely, I must say. Now that I drop this ninja down, I will say it. Yes, this is going to be a ninja strategy. Shinobi with Grandmaster. However, with a little bit of additional stuff, maybe cater towards again. The free, the free straw strategy for the late game. So that might just not... That, that might not be my only DPS. But it'll be a lot of it. I think we can... Basically go straight for 302 now without... Worrying, although I'll spike if needed. Oh crap. <laughs> this is scary. Okay, it looks like the... Yellows were the scary spark. We're good. 201 now for 22. Let's see if I... Need to spike again this round. Holy crap. Yeah, this lane here still is sketchy. Uh, 23 here. Clean. So, the camo. I'm not gonna drop a camo potion. Because I'm gonna get more ninjas later. But I need one for this lane. And now I think we are cleared. Oh, crap. No. I don't have spikes ready. Do I waste... Do I, do I try to salvage this run by, by, by popping these balloons? Let's see. Yep. Oh, wait, never mind. It didn't even work. <laughs> Yeah, it's another one of those rounds, like, during testing that were not a problem, but when you black border, every round suddenly can be a problem due to, I guess, RNG and pixel... Uh, small pixel changes of towers. Prepare to spike instantly, okay? Okay. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. Definitely needed it there. And now we got double shot, so we're good. I'll get count drops this round. 
Now for leads. It's a no-brainer. And I think it's at, at this point. We can go... We can get to removing the water. So we can start building our ninja army. Let me just... Watch out carefully because this pops the leads pretty late. Just gotta beat 31 as well. So uh, another spike round potentially. Anything scary? Not yet. So I guess I'll just drop a smack dab in the middle. Middle. Maybe lean a bit left. Just because the mob lane comes there. I'm not sure if it's 1 0 1 ninja has enough for the left lane. So I'll be prepared to spike again. If needed. But I think we're good. We're good. Come on, sharp shortens in like $2. Down to one spike on that side. Really living on the edge here. Oh my god, I shouldn't have done that. That's all my fault. And somehow there are no spikes that are even needed for this part here. Wow. Gotta love RNG. Gotta love it. So I think we go for, yeah, just straight for another 302. So this round has a lot of pinks. I am going to get my Alchemist ready because, well, everybody knows Ninja Alk. I think even with the Alk, I might need Spike. So I am prepared to drop as many as needed. Here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. That was kind of scary. I don't think I would have died there, but... Better safe than sorry. Okay. AMD now for the lead on 37. And then I'll buy faster firing. I want to be really safe. Ideally, I want to avoid dropping any more Geraldo items than that. Let's see if... Just the towers we have is enough. Looking good so far. Looking good. Two leads left. And got all of them. And then I believe after you beat 37, we can Jerry fire. So this will be a lead popping. Oh crap. Oh my god, I almost died. I was not prepared. Remember, Jerry fire is like, it has a moving range. So just gotta be careful. So for round 40, it's gonna be a lot of all the items. I'm just gonna get my balloon jitsu because I think I need it. Oh, uh, let me see if I actually hold off. Because uh, I don't know what exactly I want to spend the money on. Maybe I can't afford Jitsu and a bunch of items. Yeah, I need to get Maelstrom. 100%. Glue. Yep, that's just enough money. Oh, I sh I sh how much should I time the Jury Fire to be on top? That's fine. It's perfect. Cool. I think we're good now until round 43. So uh, I'm going to get my Elf buff next. I think I can get away with my discounts. So I'm doing it, guys. Here we go. Round 42 should be easy. Okay, I can't buy this and this. So I just, I just got to... Sp spend the money now. 1215. And there we have it. Alk buff jitsu. Should beat everything. I'm trolling. Oh my god. I should just glue. How did Alk buff jitsu not beat that? Here we go again. 43. So I'm spiking. I'm gluing immediately, right? Intersection? Yes. Intersection, one discount, and Alk buff should still work. Let me actually wait to buy because rainbows are easy. I think I bought it prematurely last time. Yep. Right for the Rams. And we should clear this easy. I probably didn't even need spike this time, but or glue, but better safe than sorry, eh? The next the next hard round is 4647. So I think in the meantime I get a double discount. And then they get tier 4 out buff, get work on Shinobi snacks. Let's buy Jolan Drums before tier 4 out buff. So right over here, now this entire square gets coverage. 46 should be easy. Do I do you guys think I spike? Or rather, do I glue 47? Or do you think this alpha buff is good enough? You know what? Screw the glue, because we have too many lanes to worry about. Pickle is more reliable. It shoots slower, but more damage, and the Jerry Fire gets stronger. If that's not enough, then Spike can't really save me. Or actually, no, no, I'll still I'll still glue. Glue is good. I think I overkilled it. Or <laughs> I overestimated the difficulty 47. Holy. That's shredded. Ladies and gents, we got away with it. I don't have Jerry Fire this round, but it's fine. I'm hoping. Uh, just stronger skim can survive. And then I'll read Jerry Fire 49. I suppose in the middle of 49, we'll slowly buy Shinobi stacks. I don't want to panic drop because I want to tightly place in everything in this range here. So just hope one's good enough. Glue if needed. Let's watch. How well does this shred? Oh, it is, a, it is nuts. So now, do I have enough mob damage for the left side? I don't want to keep, you know, maelstroming Moabs. Maybe just glue is enough. Watching carefully. Please have enough damage, please. Yep, I'm gluing. That might not have been necessary, actually. Yeah, with the money we get per round, we can pretty much get stronger and stronger slowly. This is a great thing with the, uh, I guess, the Shinobi strategy. 
you don't have to wait for breakpoint upgrades until Grandmaster. Or rather, like, they're very cheap to slowly gain power. No more pickles, so I'm going to watch very carefully for uh, the five stack this round. Looks like we're good there. And looks like we are good here too. Okay, no need to worry at all. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of a curveball here. I could keep on buying Shinobis, but I want to try uh, maybe a weird strategy. But you guys see these Dharma Keys that are kind of sandwiched in the square that would just be like blocking space. What if I made use of it by using a cape on them and then turning them into useful Super Monkeys? Like I'm thinking if we turn them to Isa Monkeys, because I plan to get Glue Storm with this Grandmaster strategy. Isa Monkeys pair really well with that, so it will still be useful late game. That's why I completely cover this Dark Monkey with Shinobis, so that because like when you when you cape it, the hitbox gets bigger. That's why I made sure to use up all the real estate around it before committing to that. Two three zero gets you more DPS, but I want the knockback utility. Can never go along with. I won't have Rogue Monkey sadly for fifty. I should definitely buy knockback, but I still think I need a Maelstrom. These things don't have enough. Uh, I think damage to it, right? Yeah, knockback coming in clutch here. Knockback coming in clutch. I didn't even need it. Holy crap. I thought I knew it was good, but I didn't expect it to like beat it before it even touched here. Well, that's a waste of seven dollars. Does it activate here or no? Okay, this can still be helpful for 63 guys. It's not the worst thing in the world. Wait, no, it's gonna hit a mo no. <laughs> Rip the Moab. Oh well. Oh no, guys, that mail is gonna cost me from buying Robo Monkey. Look. 600 off. This is so dumb. I can buy it after one wave. I or two. I'll do one glue here. One glue here. Two glues and one stone. Not the only time I'm seeing two of one thing and one of another. Let's go. I'm now 1k off, so... Uh, uh, uh... Mail if I need to. Looks good, though. Looks good. Uh, it's good, it's good. Alright, quickly. Got it. And we should clear now. Easy. We survived the scary round. Now, I think after this, as long as I don't play dumb, we should have a free mid-game. Yep, Ice Monkey, knockback OP. It's no longer a meme tower. I think Ice Monkey carries me to getting 20 stacks. Now, do I actually go for 20 stacks, or do I stop at, like, below 20? And then save for Grandmaster, because I feel like maybe you don't want to spend that much on Shinobis, and then, and then not be able to afford Grandmaster. Oh, 69, I need to refresh Jerry Fire, or do I? There's leads. I actually want to see if I can get away with it this round. If I can save... 500? Or if I can wait two more rounds, then I can use one less Jerry Fire. It's kind of risky, but it works, thankfully. Yeah, 12 stack Shinobi right now, going hard. We don't even need it. But I'm getting this anyways. Yes. Again, a friendly reminder, don't forget that the Jerry Fire increases in power. Every time I should not be stacked too, so... Uh, these mid-70s should be uh, an absolute breeze. So, final Shinobi. 16 stacks, we're gonna start taping. Yup, it's absolutely melting through every BFB here. Not even close. Not even close. I shouldn't be worried, because if I'm dying to these rounds, then there's no way I'm saving 37.8. So, apparently, if I don't spend any more, any more money, I will afford this at about round 85. Am I worried about the ZMG? I don't think I should be. Yeah, it's lower than DPS, like 200. I think it's pretty good for a 16 stack. Uh, glue if I need to. I don't think I'll Maelstrom, just glue. Oh crap. I should have Maelstromed. Why, Earth, why? Why don't I just press Maelstrom? On the bright side, that Maelstrom, like, money that we waste on 60 can be used that round. Now I'm able to form my 16th Shinobi, like, a whole one, one round earlier. Jeez. I'm gonna splurge on a 17th. Might as well play it like last run, but safer. Okay, back to Uncharted territory. Yeah, I'm just replacing it. Let's go. That should be all I need, but if it if it really isn't enough, then I will grab some glues. Here we go. It's activated. And, uh, yep, piece of cake as I expected. $20,000 to go now. We'll see how, how, how hard the 80s are. I'm hoping it should be okay because we have the knockback of the Super Monkey for any ceramics. But again, watching carefully. I guess distraction helps, yeah. All the shinobis and distracting. Don't underestimate the power of those things, eh? Oh, I forgot. Oh my god, I forgot to jerry fire. Oh my god, hopefully... Luckily, they didn't kill us. <laughs> that was actually really important to have. I don't know if getting a Mokla would be good 
intermediate step, but... Nah, I need the glue striker right after Grandmaster. Well, 20 Shinobi stacks too. Oh my god. That one got sneakily far. I'll put this back on first and strong. So that strong, like, actually slows down Moabs. So I need to make $3,000 this round. Yep, there's definitely 3k this round. The raw popping at once. I'm scared. Get it? Nice. Alright. We're good, we're good, we're good. Huge. Humongous. So now we should finish off our last three stacks and then, like, rush glue. And I shouldn't need... Uh, nope. It's so much better than the uh, balloon jitsu, obviously. Cleans out 85. Now we do... Uh, no, no. Uh, let me wait one more round. The invisibility potion gets stronger next round, so don't use her now. Don't need it, so I'll wait. And uh, one more BFB. And there it is. 20 stacks. And now we have level 19, so... Uh, here we go. Big range on our Grandmaster. Uh, is there enough money for glue? Sorry, crap. 6,088. I, maybe I shouldn't have gone 20 stacks. Crap. Alright, let's see how close you are. No free tier 1s. Do I make 1,400 this round? Keep in mind, I have to get, I have to, I have to get the cooldown up too. Oh, there, there is a bit of a delay on round 90 coming in. Uh, money, please. Got it, got it. We will have only charged it up that many seconds. Is that fine? Anyways, I'm going to Camelpot Trivaldo. And drop a glue on the DTs. I think it's the first lane, right? Well, let me just see if I need it. Or if the glue strike ability is up. Okay, it's up, it's up, it's up. I might use it though, still. If they're slow. Now? Easy. Ay ay ay. Now I have to use the one glue strike for 93 as well, so... Uh, I probably need to slow down DTs starting that round. Anyways... Let's move on and let's use our, uh, Jerry Fire. Jerry Fire. So we want to uh, Jerry Fire the Shinobis that have the most stacks. I think it's 15. Wait, let's make sure I'm not wasting too much money here. So I'll only, I'll only do two of them for now. I need to get Glue Storm immediately. Or maybe I should just get a Mib and, like, stop worrying about DTs entirely. But I already got this. So I might as well just go for Glue Storm while I'm at it. You know what I mean? Oh, right. Also, Sharpening Stone. Duh. This is definitely worth 200 Okay, maybe the Isle Mikey was a mistake. Now I'm far off of everything. <laughs> Whoops. I guess they're good as a bonus, but I shouldn't have got them early. Alright, $8,000 into 93. So I need to glue. There's 60 ETs. I think I don't think I can get away with not slowing down. Maybe I should have just got... No, I shouldn't have got Sabo. Guys, we're going for the Giga Chad no Mib. So we're pre we're pre-placing a glue. Okay. To slow down the DT as I come out. Watching carefully, watching carefully. One, two... Uh, slow this one. I, I, I'm really bad at this game. I'm really bad at this game. Okay, new plan. Do not get the uh, Fortune Obis to 20. It might make us a little weaker for these rounds, but it's fine. Grandmaster OP. Just rush the Glue Strike. In fact, we have it right now. We'll see how early we can get Glue Storm too. If we get Glue Storm, then we, I don't have to worry about 93 at all. 93 is a free win. Let's use our uh, Jerry Fires too. So here and here. So, here we go again. Don't... Just count to three. Just count to three. And then use it instantly. One, two, three. Clean. And let's see if I'm going to be able to afford the glue storm in time. I need to make $3,000 this round. I'm not even using the refreshed items just yet. Even though... Uh, actually, I probably shouldn't have wasted money on the... Uh, uh, the Jerry Fires on 89. Oh, well. We'll be fine because the shurikens are OP on the Grandmaster. Yep, we got it. We got it. Pog. Huge. Now I don't have to worry about the timing, because I literally just use it before it comes in. Uh, also, Sharpening Stone. Use it now. And... Easy. Alright, no more trolling at this point on. Let's refresh the Jerry Fires and work on 20 stacks. I'm not even going to bother using Glue Storm, because I know the Grandmaster is good enough for these rounds, right? <laughs> I hope I'm not making a mistake here. Anyways, uh, here is... crap. Here is 18. Yep. And then two more down here. I think with these last Shinobis, I am now there. All my money to 20 stacks. All but 666 of them. So, uh, just... Just time it properly. Let's also use our the last of our Jerry Fire. So, this one... On this one... Also, Sharpening Stone, the Isomonkey. It's pretty good. 
Still need to time these rounds. So now... And it should last the entire way. If not, I will cry. I'll have a panic glue if it... Somehow... Doesn't last enough. Alright, we're counting on you, glue storm. We're counting on you. Counting on you. Nice. Perfect. Uh, what do I do with my excess money now? I don't think I go for another ice monkey. Alright, let's just use our last, uh, Jerry Fire over here. 96 should be easy. Since there's no DTs, I, I, I can pretty much just blast off my glue storm. If it looks troubling, but look at that. Easy shred. I'm just not sure if I have enough again, uh... Bad DPS, so yes, Overclock would be next if I'm worried about that. Right now, I'm just much more worried about single target rather than anything else, so I might just omit the mob glue. Like, do we really need to slow things down when they're, like, getting shredded this quickly? Don't think so. We're doing it. I'll get it at the start of 98, so that'll leave me with, like, I think enough money for Reju Potions for, like, the last rounds. I will also glue storm early this round so that I hopefully get it for... Uh, Round 98. Apparently. Alright, there's one, and... Oh, crap, I shouldn't have used it. Uh... We'll be fine, we'll be fine. I'll get overclock very soon. That's kind of... Sus. So, I don't want to use... The thing is, I don't want to use the glue, the glue storm, because I need for 99, although... Maybe I'll just rejuve. Let me just see how scary this is. Should I be scared? Or are we good? Nah, nah, we're good, we're good. Overclock. Nice. I, I didn't misclick. I didn't misclick. Alright, easy. Easy. We, we just breezed through 98. Now we absolutely blow all their money on all the items. So, uh, refresh this. And I'll refresh uh, on this one. And then I'll do two genies. Make sure they're under uh, jungle drums and camo. One. And uh, two. And then just simply glue storm when it's time. This is it. This is it. No need to slow them down. We do so much DPS. Okay. Nice veteran level. Now, do I spend my money this round, or do, do I just save it for the two regions? I think I just save, save for the regions. Anything else I need? If not, let's play, and we'll rejuve once the glue storm... It's still working, by the way. It should be. Yeah, it's working. You can see the sniper. Should, I should just rejuve early, right? Yeah, let me just rejuve early. Wait for it, wait for it. Uh, now? Overclock. I can't find it. Holy crap. I almost didn't use Glustrum early enough, but we win. It's done. <laughs> Finally. I had a couple blunders that made this run take a little bit longer than I expected, but... It's okay, it's okay. Imagine if I didn't use Glustrum in time for that last round, though. Oh boy. <laughs> I might have just disappeared off the internet, like, <laughs> at that point. Anyways, 1.6 million pops on the Grandmaster of the carry. Not too much in the Ice Monkey, but it did help with the knockback. And let's just take a look at our nice, fresh black border. Just a couple more extra maps to go.